Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. Here I have the HP Pavilion. This is the X360, and uh, this is a 14 inch. Let me show you the model number. If you take a closer look at the fine print, it says model 14M DW0023DX. Let me try to face it at a certain angle so you can see it. And what I'll be doing here it would be a step-by-step -step, um, on how to tear it down and hopefully you can learn something out of this video if you're planning to replace the RAM or maybe replace the battery uh, if you have uh, too small of the uh, M.2 drive and you're planning to increase the uh, hard drive capacity this video is going to help you and I'll walk you through step-by-step -step on how to do that Alright, so what I have here is a metal prying tool and I'm removing the rubber. So there is, uh, there are some of the, uh, what do you call that, the um, um, screws hidden underneath the rubber. So you need to remove the rubber. Uh, they are just double sided tape rubber. Once you remove it, you can see that the screws are exposed and go ahead and remove that screw. The screws are just regular screw, they are Phillips screws. The two on the top. There are two at the bottom here. And the two at the bottom here. Um, they're hidden underneath the rubber once you remove that and there's one tiny little screw right in the center and you need to remove that as well and that Phillips screw is a little bit smaller so I have to downgrade to a smaller screwdriver and that's how it is now once you remove all that the next thing I like to do is to pry open the back plate so I have a little dent here on the bottom left corner and hopefully that gives me an easy access to go ahead and dig in to pry it open. This laptop here is a 360 fold meaning, you can f meaning that you can fold the laptop all the way as a tablet and that's the whole purpose of this laptop. It's a laptop plus tablet. And you try not to stick all the way in. So the prying tool, I just stick this little amount here, just enough to pry open the back plate. I do not want to stick all the way in, meaning that if you dig it too deep, you might actually damage the uh, the motherboard, right? So just stick it enough to able to pry it open. Once you have the gap is open, you can just uh, you know just pull it right out. Now once you remove the back plate, you can actually see the entire uh, motherboard right here. Okay. Now I'd like to explain to you what are the stuff here going on. This is your wireless card, which is also the Bluetooth. Uh, this is your CPU fan. And let's see what is hidden underneath here and what is there. This is the entire battery. So let's first thing first to remove the battery. And the batteries have about one, two, three, four screws. Okay, so there are four screws holding onto the battery. Go ahead and remove them. And once you remove the battery, and you can just pop right up, meaning that there's no connector. This is just like almost like Lego is snapped onto the uh, onto the motherboard connector. You just lift it up. You can remove the entire battery. Now, if your battery is swollen, if you see a lump onto it. Or the battery is not holding the charge, meaning that it's time for a new battery. If you want to find a replacement, look it up for PV03XL. Or you can look it up as the HP spare. The, repa uh, the replacement number would be L83393-005. Okay, so if you're going to ask if there's a CMOS battery, you want to reset the, uh, the motherboard 
the answer is no there's no CMOS battery anymore on a newer computer so all the new computer they do not come with the CMOS battery uh, they all run off from the main battery I do get that question a lot all the time they ask me how to reset the BIOS password uh, technically there's no way to reset it because there's no more CMOS those are back in the days the newer one everything runs off the, the main battery okay so let's go ahead and try to pop open what do you see underneath this metal bracket I'm pretty sure um, it's probably show you the RAM and also the M.2 drive so what I'll do is I use the plastic prying tool and I can see that there's a clipper that clip onto the uh, uh, the plastic there's nothing else is holding onto it so it's very straightforward this is just a metal aluminum uh, cover that covers up the M.2 drive and then here is where the little clipper you see all this little clipper the silver one and they are just clipping between that metal plastic the aluminum plastic uh, the aluminum cover sorry all right so this is your m.2 drive this is the one that holds all your information meaning that it holds your uh, windows your data your programs everything stays in this uh, m.2 drive now once you remove the screw you can slide it down that's how you remove it okay now if you want to buy a bigger one this original is 256 gigabyte if you want to buy like the one terabyte you can uh, but then you would have to uh, transfer all the data over to that one terabyte or maybe you want to watch one of my video I, I'll, I'll have the video in the description below what I make the video is I'll show you how to clone it meaning that you can buy a new one terabyte M.2 and you can clone everything from this original hard drive over to that new uh, one terabyte hard drive when you do the clone everything stay the same the windows the programs the data everything will get transferred over all right so uh, i just removed that let's go ahead and remove this plastic cover now uh, sorry the aluminum cover i'm not sure why i might keep talking about plastic today but try to find an opening go ahead and remove it okay so here you can see the two slots for ram uh, this is the 8 gigabytes RAM and you can actually install the secondary RAM as in 16 gigs of RAM 8 and 8 will be end up to 16 alright so let's go ahead and disconnect some of the cables here so uh, at least we can try to remove the motherboard okay so I remove this tape this is the touchpad go ahead and open up the clipper flip open the clipper and pull the flex cable down towards your body and that's how you remove the touchpad all right so this is the keyboard go ahead and open up the clipper slide the flex cable down and you just remove that keyboard connector and right here is actually the keyboard lighting open up the clipper and slide it down the keyboard lighting is ready to be removed okay so let's go ahead and remove some of the screws here uh, I just removed that and this is your CPU fan go ahead and remove the CPU fan as well so there are three screws one two and the third screw once you remove all the three screws this is the CPU fan connector there's no clipper you just have to slide uh, the connector to your left So one one hand is pulling and the other hand is pushing so that's how I slide open the uh, connector to my left I just remove the CPU fan now if you want to find a replacement for that you just look it up uh, for this number right here okay or the other number below and if your fan is not spinning well or too dusty uh, you need a new fan okay so the next step I like to do is to uh, disconnect the LCD cable go ahead and pull straight up and that's how you disconnect the LCD cable just pull it straight up okay so this is your speaker I'm sliding the connector away from my body that's how you remove the speaker alright once you disconnected the speaker 
cable and um, we can go ahead and work on the Wi-Fi so here as you can see that the Wi-Fi I like to make um, I like to make a marker on the Wi-Fi so I can identify which cable goes where so the white one on the right side I'll make a little marker here on a blue mark so I know that the Wi-Fi goes to the right uh, the white cable goes to the right side of it okay go ahead and disconnect the uh, the Wi-Fi cable is very straightforward you just uh, tuck it underneath and they're just like Lego they snap right out this one here is actually for your webcam uh, the webcam um, and the microphone okay so to remove it you slide it away from your body and I just pull it and slide it away from my body on that side okay so there you have it I wonder if the speaker can come out maybe later I'll, I'll show it to you uh, this one here is the DC jack meaning that uh, this one here is for your uh, charging port so if you damage the charging port you can just replace this by itself okay let's go ahead and start removing some of the screws uh, so that we can expose the uh, the keyboard so what I did I just removed the uh, wireless card here let's put it on the side disconnect this cable as well this is the uh, fingerprint uh, security login I just removed that. Now I think we can just disconnect all the all the screws. Okay, it looks like there's another problem here and the slight problem is that we need to disconnect that cable so let me see if I can pull this thing out looks like it's still stuck Alright, so there's a little tiny clipper on the top right corner here. Let me bring it closer to the screen so you can see it. On the top right corner here, there's a little tiny clipper, this one. Once I push it out a little bit, I can slide this uh, USB PVC board out because the uh, underneath the cable are still connected to the main board and I can't disconnect the main board until I pop that thing open. And once the thing is open, I can slide out the entire um, the entire uh, motherboard out. Okay, so this is your CPU. It doesn't have a graphics card built in it. This is just a very simple uh, motherboard here. Okay, if you want to look up for the um, for the uh, the part replacement, probably you need to look it up here. And this is the motherboard replacement part. If you want to look for it, okay and let's turn it around this is the back side of the uh, the motherboard all right we just removed the entire motherboard so now i'd like to show you to you about the keyboard now as you can see the keyboard is non-replaceable because the keyboard i can see that these are the punch down the manufacturer made them so it's not a screw in it's actually pre-built everything keyboard onto this uh, setup now 
um, if you if you have a bad keyboard you need to replace then more likely you would have to replace the entire um, palm rest as well so let me go ahead and remove that and I'll show you to you what I mean by that so there are two screws hold on to the hinge and I just removed the other two on the right side so I'm removing the two on the left so once I remove that I'm kind of like a push up a little bit okay and keep pushing at about 90 degree angle so that I can slide the keyboard out okay so I just did straight up at about 90 degree and I slide the entire keyboard out uh, this is the DC jack as I was explaining if you have a broken jack here and you need to replace you need to actually open it up and replace this jack entirely now if you have a broken speaker and you like to replace it uh, the speaker is actually pop right out the entire speaker just like that no screw whatsoever if you have a blown speaker you just pop it all out okay let me push it back in and for the keyboard and the, oh sorry for the keyboard and the touchpad this is the entire thing you need to replace okay so for the LCD this is the entire LCD if you want to replace it you can uh, pretty much this is a touch screen I do not want to replace the glass and the digitizer I would recommend you to replace the entire um, LCD in one piece just like that all right so this is it uh, I did an entire teardown on this model uh, if you have any question just comment below and I do read through the questions and I try to help you and answer all those questions you have uh, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel uh, that helps me to keep me motivated and make more of this type of video for you if you have any questions about your computer problems uh, or anything related to electronics uh, try to comment below I'll read those comments and I'll try to help you and answer those questions until next time please take care